good morning to all cells play a vital role in biological systems so these are all the roles which is involved in biological system first one is osmotic regulation catalysis metabolism biomineralization signaling so among that uh, all the mechanisms which is helped or induced or caused by metals so when we uh, when the concentration of metals has been increased or decreased it caused disease so we have to stable the metal ions in our body our blood stream so that we um, have to trace or track the metal ions with the help of some fluorophores so this is the idea to develop this kind of fluorophores here first one is uh, osmotic regulations you can see the water has been enter into uh, cell plasma through uh, help with the help of uh, metal ions and the second one is metal catalyst which facilitates the reaction in uh, happen inside the cell and the third one is the biological synthesis so biomineralization and uh, metabolic activity al already i explained here this is the timeline of historical developments in visualizing metal ions in cells so first uh, 19 uh, 1865 onwards the metal sensing uh, develop with the first develop uh, iron sen uh, uh, iron sensors and uh, 1982 onwards uh, the people are trying to do or trying to create new type of sensors uh, um all the works have focus uh, transition metal sensing recent years uh, they are uh, trying to find heavy metal sensing uh, you can see uh, zinc the up to 2013 uh, copper uh, recent days uh, many metals can be detected with the help of fluorescent uh, fluorophores so why we are using uh, fluorescent probes for uh, sensing uh, we have lot of uh, metal sensing techniques all are sophisticated except the fluorescent emo sensor first one is icp aes and icp ms potentiometry here fluorescent sensor uh, one of the cheapest technique to sense the metals which is present in blood stream it is having high selectivity as well as it is relatively simply handling technique it can be synthesized fragile and it should be aqueous soluble so before designing fluorescent sensor we should uh, we should uh, incorporate general rules to design fluorescent sensor it should absorb emit at longer wavelengths less phototoxicity this phototoxicity concept already explained by dr jebastian and he uh, decrease the background auto fluorescence decrease scattering these are all the factors we should incorporate before designing fluorescent sensor and this is the fluorescent phenomenon basic fluorescent phenomenon in uh, in the environment when we expose the light to fluorophore it uh, goes to first singlet state and solvent relaxation after that hydrogen bonding charge shift solvent polarity pro probe interaction conformational changes so you can you know quinone quinal uh, tautomerism this uh, these um, these are common fluorescence phenomenon which is occur in the environment and these are all the uh, mechanisms which is involved in fluorescence sensing first one in intramolecular charge transfers what what photo induced electron transfer excited state inter as well as intramolecular proton transfer fluorescence resonance energy transfer aggregation induced emission chelative enhanced fluorescence among this i would like to explain two examples one uh, first one is pet photo induced electron transfer for photo induced electron transfer means here the molecule 
donor molecule which uh, exposed with the light and it goes to excited uh, sing, uh, first single excited state after that the acceptor accept the electron and it goes down and it emits the fluorescence the second one is esipt i uh, here i am showing intramolecular proton transfer so when we expose the light here you can see this is the algagal uh, it converts to ketone so this is keto enone tautomerism which i have explained earlier uh, conformational change in fluorescence so this is kind of conformational change in fluorescence with the help of proton transfer so first peak shows uh, ketone second peak shows enol so these two peaks observed for a single molecule so this is specific mechanism which is involved uh, in intramolecular proton transfer and uh, i have shown a uh, few uh, fluorophores you uh, may attend la previous lecture with a lot of fluorophores uh, you, you, it was colorful right so here you can see uh, uh, basic fluorophores are uh, basic fluorophores you can see all rich atoms uh, oxygen nitrogen like that right so when uh, the fluorophore uh, has a uh, electron rich atoms it can bind to the metal as well as interact with the um, sensing molecule so the so that we are uh, in the fluorophore fluorescence score and we have to enhance the solubility of the so basic uh, we are focusing uh, to develop one fluorophore from this fluorophore we can uh, detect aluminum uh, while designing this fluorophore uh, we should know the core moiety features so npd derivatives so what is npd npd is a uh, chloro uh, nitro benzo oxo diazole so Uh, it is commercially available one it is non fluorescent compound this is the starting material of our uh, synthetic compound so here uh, instead of chlorine we have to replace amine when we replace amine it shows fluorescent nature so this is the schema the proton and substitution react to the nitro one with the help of iron so we are characterizing this uh, these fluorophores with the help of uh, proton nmr c13 nmr and mass spectroscopy so this is the uh, proton nmr of probe 1 this is the pro, uh, c13 nmr of probe 1 and this is the mass spectra of probe 1 these spectral characterization agrees the structure proposed structure and this is a proposed structure 2 uh, and their characterizations and this is the uh probe 3 our sub base uh, characterizations this is the crystal structure of uh, probe 1 and probe 3 why we are choosing probe 1 and probe 3 this is having a donor acceptor type like a or uh, fluorophore this is a donor acceptor donor like when we increase the uh, uh, donor cloud to the towards the center what will happen or what is the impact of this molecule we are checking this to uh, with the help of this fluorophore while doing experiment we have to check whether the fluorophore is stable or not with the help of solvent effect when we do the solvent effect uh, with the help of different solvents 
the sol you can see the solvents uh, with different polarity so when we increase the polarity of the sol uh, solvent the uh, fluorescence as well as absorption has been red shifted so uh, from this red shift we uh, came to know it for uh, it shows ict inter system i mean uh, yeah, it is more stable uh, as well as uh, here you can see the um, fluorescent spectra of pro3 with methanol this orange line indicates uh, two peaks which shows uh it forms two uh, esi it obeys esi pt mechanism I, i explained earlier so our molecule i mean this molecule also uh, forms uh, uh, esi pt mechanism uh, and uh, this is the spectral uh, uh, spectral characterization as well as spectral um, values of uh, probe 1 and probe 3 with the different solvents so again you can see uh, this is the probe 3 with different metals what is the impact in absorption spectra above figure shows a uh, naked eye detection you can say calorimetric sensor uh, there is a transparent and transparent and copper also little transparent other uh, metals when you add it is uh, pro3 color remains so from this uh, experiment you can confirm it is a calorimetric sensor for aluminum copper and iron so he, further it confirms with the absorption spectroscopy the black color dotted line is probe 3 and the uh, red color is for aluminum purple color is for uh, copper and blue color is for iron so these three peaks shows or three uh, bands shows Uh, uh dear participants uh, there is a disturbance in the presentation um uh, pratik sir ah, yes uh, can you please check your uh, internet connectivity sir um uh, is it fine we are not we are not able to hear you continuously there is a crack in your audio okay uh, can you please uh, connect to uh, a different internet service if you have or uh, please check with your internet connection yes ma'am i will check hey dear participants uh, kindly please uh, wait in the zoom room and uh, youtube channel uh, there is a disturbance from the speaker side uh, audio is not clear just one or two minutes it will be all right please stay back participants please stay back is it fine now okay yeah yeah yes now okay fine so this is the spectra for uh, probe 3 with aluminum different uh, concentrations uh, when we add uh, aluminum uh, 0 to 750 micromolar uh, you can see the isobestic point when isobestic point observe uh, it confirms the 
complex or AC plex formation of uh, aluminium with Pro3. Okay. So uh, further, uh, you can see this is the daylight. Uh, uh, Daylight photograph and this is UV light for uh, Pro 3 with uh, in water, water plus DMSO. Uh, what is the advantage of this molecule? This is uh, sensed by water uh, mixture. Uh, you can say semi aqueous solution. Uh, this is a uh, UV light, so we can call it as fluor uh, fluorimetric sensor. So, Pro 3, uh, which is placed in UV light. Uh, this is a probe 3 with aluminium which is placed in UV light. So this is the fluorescence uh, absorbed from the UV light. We now add different metals. Here the same graph is uh, different metals. There is no intensity shift, but only aluminium has a higher intensity sh uh, shift. So it is more specific as well as uh, sensitive for uh, towards aluminium. So this fluorophore is uh, uh, good to uh, sense aluminium in fluorescence technique. But the absorption spectra, you can uh, confirm uh, alum aluminium, copper, and iron. So this is the spectra uh, spectral confirmation of um, probe 3 with aluminium. So what we have done, we uh, took first NMR of uh, our uh, probe 3. Uh, there is a OH peak around 12.8. Uh, 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 when we add aluminium, uh, after 10 minutes, we recorded uh, the proton NMR. Uh, we observed there is no uh, OH peak uh, because of this aluminium attached to uh, Pro3. So it has formed chelation. So this uh, kind of uh, fluorescence emission can be confirmed or we can call it as CHEF effect, chelative enhanced emission. Uh, summary of this work, FSL synthetic group. This is very common synthetic route. Uh, it is a dual channel aluminium sensor. Uh, it is used as a, a dual channel aluminium sensor and the structure has been uh, confirmed by X-ray crystallography. The probe has shown positive solvatochromism. It, it represents it is a highly stable and uh, photogrammic stability also it, uh, it shows. Uh, the probe uh, with the aluminium has showed chef effect and lower detection limit. So what is the lower detection limit? Like who uh, defines this much limit Absorbs means it is better uh, sensor. So the uh, fluorescent probe shows better effect uh, as per WHO guidelines, World Health Organization guidelines. And um, uh, this can be used uh, to evaluate intercellular system for aluminum cost disease and their mechanisms. So this is the representation, uh, graphical representation of overall work. We have synthesized one compound. Uh, it is a sieve base and it shows a sieve uh, chef effect. Uh, we can detect the aluminium present in uh, our body. So what is the detection limit? Uh, uh, greater than or uh, equal to 500 nanomole detection of aluminium. So this work has been published in uh, Chemistry Select by 